and it said Christians did not burn witches they just set women on fire who they couldn't control and so my question in response to that is what's wrong with setting women on fire hmm what is wrong with setting women on fire a man is asking what is wrong with setting women on fire let me go ahead and roll the full clip for you all to watch well let's do all talk setting women on fire then we'll come back and talk about it hey so i just wanted to quickly respond to a meme that i recently saw it was a meme that had a picture of a witch flying on a broom in the background and it said Christians did not burn witches they just set women on fire who they couldn't control and so my question in response to that is what's wrong with setting women on fire the Christian worldview has a response to that answer I'm curious to know what other people think and how they would respond to that at this point sometimes i just feel like people just sit down and be like how can i make my tiktok account grow or how can i make people to talk about me how can i trend how can i make because i don't understand why somebody would say that what is wrong in setting women on fire how would that kind of statement come out of your mouth as an individual what is wrong in setting women on fire anyways let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section have you seen this video before let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section so hey beautiful people how you all doing today it's your girl maria davis and i'm back again with another interesting video so let me go ahead and roll the interesting stitches for you all to watch so at the end of all the stitches i will share my own opinion what's wrong with setting women on fire the christian your profile bio says that you're pointing people to Christ through commentary. But what you're actually doing is further proving the point that Christianity and Christians themselves are judgmental jackasses. What gives you the audacity to think that your religion is the only way in life? People are dropping from Christianity like in record numbers. And here you are trying to use a practice that was used hundreds of years ago to try and point people to Christ. Make it make sense because it doesn't make any sense. Christians, why do you have the audacity to think that your way is the only way and that controlling women is the right way? I, I, I'll never understand this shit. Y'all are gonna lose. You're losing. Bye. Is what's wrong <clears throat> with setting women on fire? So this gentleman here, and I use that term very, very loosely, has found an older meme that has been flying around, <laughs> flying these internet streets for quite some time that states, it's got a picture of a witch riding a broomstick, and it states that um, Christians didn't unalive witches at the stake. They burned the women they couldn't control. And this would like to know what's so wrong with burning women. Hi. Let's see here. The fact that that very book that y'all used to do that kind of atrocities with also has a list of ten commandments that you're not supposed to break. One of them says, thou shalt not murder. The fact that it's 2023 and we live in the modern world where well, that is illegal. Huh. I'd love to see you try. What's the matter? You mad because you can't control women? <laughs> Y'all forget that have it not been for women, ain't none of y'all would be here anyway. Anyway, how do you deserve? <laughs> What's wrong with setting women on fire?
the so the reason he asked that question was because he said that the Christian worldview has an answer to a question like that. As in, he says that Christians have a justifiable, understandable answer behind why setting women on fire is wrong. And I'm pretty sure it's because God said, thou shalt not kill. You know, because God said it. But the reasonable answer outside of Christianity is because murder is inherently wrong because it does a net harm to the world around us. You know? Because if you care about other people, if you have basic empathy, and you understand that you wouldn't want someone you care about set on fire, then you are able to understand socially that setting women on fire is just not a good thing. You don't need God to tell you that. Hey, so I just wanted to quickly respond to a me- Hi, I'm Encrypted Insanity, and I'm supposed to take the Christian worldview's answer on whether burning women at the stake is wrong? Tell me, who who are the ones that burned women at the stake? Was it the Jews? The Muslims? The pagans? The Hindus? The Buddhists? No, it was the Christians, right? Should we just start asking criminals why the crime was bad? Or should we know it's bad because we all agree this is wrong? Because unaliving people is bad all the time. No matter the reasoning behind it, even when it's legally justifiable in cases of self-defense or defense of another, even when you're fighting for your country, unaliving other people is still bad. But in certain cases, it's acceptable. It's justifiable. That doesn't make it right. Your God, apparently in the Bible, if we believe the Bible's true, unalives everyone in the flood, except for Noah and his family, every firstborn in Egypt, everyone in Sodom and Gomorrah except for Lot and his two daughters who then go to grate him in a cave after getting him drunk. Like, we're supposed to accept your worldview on if burning women at the stake is wrong when your God not only endorses slavery, but in the very first book of the Bible gave one of his followers male and female slaves. Not only endorses genocide, but has committed multiple genocides himself and told his followers, like David, to go make war and commit genocide multiple times. We're supposed to take that guy's word on anything? <clears throat> nah. Nah, I'm fine. My gods ain't perfect, but they never claim to be. And you know what? I'd rather follow gods that have done bad things. Like, let's take Odin. He committed grape. He did. Holy crap. It's bad. It's evil. But you want to know something? The other gods held him to account. They held him accountable for that action. They did. Yeah. Who held your god accountable when he committed genocide on a global scale? Nobody. Because it, he is perfectly moral and right all the time. He can do no wrong. Did he give Mary a choice before he impregnated her with himself? Or did he tell her, you're going to carry the son, Jesus? And he didn't even have the balls to tell him himself. He sent an angel to do it for him. Yeah, I'm not going to take the Christian worldview on anything. When the Christian worldview right now is trying to unalive trans people, is trying to take away same-sex marriage from gay people, is telling people that we need to eradicate transgenderism from public life entirely. It was a Christian who said that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want the Christian worldview's answer on anything. I'm fine without it. In fact, society <clears throat> as a whole would progress very fast, just with extreme speed, without the Christian worldview holding it down and repressing it. I said what I said. I make no apologies nor excuses for it. Have the day you deserve. And hail Odin, for he actually teaches. What's wrong with setting women on fire? The Christian... I too have a purely hypothetical what is wrong with, if you'll indulge me. What is wrong with documenting people who say those words on the digital realm? And finding out everything about them. Like, literally everything. With the cloudy with a chance of meatballs, chance of catching them outside of the TikTok streets into the real life version of this shit. 
Like, what's what's wrong with that? A anybody? Because I'm not I'm not suggesting or saying it's right or wrong. I'm just asking simple hypothetical questions of what's wrong with doing that particular thing. Like anything at all? Like at all? Feel free to do In response to that is, what's wrong with setting women on fire? So, this started out dealing with the Salem witch trials. And then he goes on to ask what's wrong with setting women on fire? Because women don't play no more. You see, this ideology is why women are strapping up. Why women are going more and more and making sure they're strapped. Why they're making sure they're protected. What's wrong with setting women on fire? Come over here and find out. Come over here and find out. You know better. You know better. Because women are not putting up with that bullshit no more. We're not. See, I have six older brothers. And one of them follows me here on TikTok. You know how mad they would be if they found out I was walking around here not not uh, geared up? Not ready? What's wrong with setting women on fire? Hmm. The whole thing was with the Salem Witch trials was the fact that the men couldn't control the women. So they said that they were witches so they could set them on fire and murder them. Point blank murder them. According to you. That could be true. You do that in the 21st century. Sir, you may not be going home. Just saying. What's wrong with setting women on fire? Please go watch that original video. The core of his video was he came across them that said that they didn't set witches on fire. Christians didn't set witches on fire. They set women on fire that they couldn't control. So what's wrong with setting women on fire? So when you hear women, or does anyone say, oh, not all men. How do you tell the difference? What makes this guy seem like a guy that wouldn't set a woman on fire? Who doesn't think he's okay? What makes a guy look like he wouldn't beat his girlfriend, his wife, the mother of his child. He wouldn't stab him. He wouldn't think that because he's been such a nice guy all the years to all of his friends that when they reject him, they would, he wouldn't stalk them. He wouldn't run them over a car. He wouldn't kidnap them. He wouldn't assault them. He wouldn't do anything, that, these atrocities to them. What makes a guy not be one of these guys? Please, let me know, because I've seen plenty of dudes who seem fine, and then you really get them relaxed, and they tell you that they have no problem putting their hands on women. They got no problem sleeping around, but women can't do it. They got no problem raising their voice to it. They're just trying to scare them. Oh, they would never do it. Then they do it. They be laughing and joking all the time. The wife laughing and joking, and they find out. He beats them. He assaults them. They're his property. He thinks that because they're not married to him, he can do whatever the fuck he wants to him. What makes a guy not like all these other guys? What makes men safe? To be wrong, women, women, huh? Because just like any man any person really can go around and be a, a drug dealer, a rapist, a serial killer. What makes you think that they have no reason to be afraid around every guy just in case that guy?
takes one of them. Because I don't know if you looked around yet, but uh, they're kind of breeding that men I mean, that mentality amongst themselves. Not all men. Did you see this? The thing is, but worst, the best part about it, maybe the worst part about it, is there's so many accounts on this app alone that support that idea. That support looking down at women, saying they're, they're nothing. The best part is, if you go on social media, if you go on multiple places, Along as these guys, a lot of them, who put, put this nice little facade up, will say the most atrocious things to women because they feel like it can't be caught. They won't get back to them. You'll never know who they are. They'll, they'll send death threats. They'll, they'll send all kinds of random pictures. You know me, the fact that this is 2023 and there's still guys sending out random dick pics. And you get pissed off when they don't get the women to throw themselves at them. So pissed off that they will assault them. Random women in, in the street because all women are mean. No one gives them a chance. Not all men my have. Hey, so I just wanted to quickly respond to a me. See, you'll probably be in prison for five years for threatening others. Not just a president, let alone the vice president, well, the ex vice president, and the current vice president. And the current president. I mean, not one person ever threatened the life of Donald J. Trump, because even though he's a moron, he doesn't know what those big words are. Anyway, but you threatening women. Hmm, misogynist, not much. <clears throat> Your mother taught you better, but I think you took the other route around with other men who were misogynists. You want to look what that word is? That's what it is. Misogynist. A person who dislikes uh, uh, just, just read it for yourself. Also, similar to woman hater. Anti-feminist. Which, by the way, did you not know that men can be feminists too? And it's not just a woman thing, it's also a gender thing. Mixed gender. As in, both men and women can be feminists, but you're an anti-feminist. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, that's what it means. You're just prejudiced towards women. I mean, what's wrong, little dude? Too small? You know, your little tic tac in your pants? It's too small? Because no woman could, f could feel it? That little tic tac of yours? And also, you're a sexist and anti woman. Threatening a woman by burning her, which I need all toxic Christian women to understand this too. When a man like this says he will burn all women for whatever reason, this is what he is. Oh, and again, this also includes other women too. So women, if you're against the whole thing and you're against your own sex, in other words, gender, not just sex and gender, well, it's sex and gender, you're kind of about the same way, so kind of be careful what you say towards other women. I'm just saying to the toxic women, but this also includes their safety. So you really fucked up when this woman here, who is a fuck around and find out demon, shows up. Yeah, you fucked up.
So, I will definitely be having a joy to send this to some of my friends who are women and men. Men, like real men, appreciates women. Men who got taught better than other men. In other words, what mom says, it goes. Same with grandmothers. Same with aunts, sisters, female cousins, nieces. <clears throat> are you against them because they are women too? Probably because you posted it. So basically, everybody go to the, his original post and have fun. You can send his video to rest of the world throughout the internet and including the news and yes people the news have twitter accounts facebook accounts and everywhere else and wherever you work your boss will probably watch it because this this is not going to fly well in the workplace did you not know that when you post something on the internet it lasts forever Hmm. Ah, did you hear that one? Mother knows best. She taught you better than that. But you took a different route by listening to sexist... Sexist men. I almost screwed that one up. But yeah, you fucked up. You really fucked up when the fuck around find out demon shows up. <laughs> oh. Can I remember, when you make certain threats, this will be posted towards the FBI and even the police of your county. Even all over the world that have police. If you ever visit England, yeah, your videos will be posted towards them. It's will be posted all over the world. A man who's anti-woman, sexist, and misogynist. Shame. Oof. No wonder men like you should be single for the rest of your lives. Because the beta male population is such. Should be alone for the rest of their lives. I mean, it's the right for a woman to be single. But for a misogynist like you, should be single for the rest of their lives. Never find love. And just be miserable pricks like you. With the tiny tic tac. In their pants. The pants tic tac. So tiny. So yeah, you fucked around and you found out. So everybody, have fun with his video. Make sure you post it all over the internet and towards every newscast. And including, if you know him, please post his video to the police of the county. I'll be posting it towards the FBI because I'm going to have lots of fun with them. Because even though I am following them on Twitter, I'll be sitting into the head office. And trust me, they'll probably look into it. It's called Investigation, honey. And, um, it's not our fault that you can't find a girlfriend. Because, yeah. Big ego, itty bitty. Pants tic tac. And nobody wants to see it anyway. 
Have fun being single for the rest of your life. If you're still here, definitely you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to put your thoughts, your opinion, your suggestion down in the comment section. All opinion accepted. If you kindly put them down respectfully. You all, at this point, I feel like what this 20, 2023, this year, has taught me about men is that, or about me as a woman, is that I have to be going out with protection. I have to be able to protect myself against this man because you don't know who is who you don't know who wants to honor life you just because you exist you don't know who hates you just because you reject them you don't know who is secretly annoyed i'm talking about this man because i don't understand why you would ask i don't want to believe he will say something like that out of his heart like why would you ask that what is wrong in burning women so you think if we come together and put all women all over the world together and burn every single person do you think the world is not going to come to an end when all you men now dies what's going to happen because none of you can produce and you are coming from a woman you came from a woman and you're saying that what is wrong like to me to, you know, me though i feel like he's just doing this for clout i don't want to believe something like this but then things when i sit down and think about a lot of things that i've seen a lot of videos that i've seen this year i'm like <clears throat> it's possible it is real it's possible somebody is thinking like that because a lot of men young young ones and even matured ones they've just deliberately on alive women for no reason just because women exist they'll stalk you they'll kill you they'll just you know do things hurt you so much just because you exist so what this century has taught me is that we just have to protect ourselves we just have to be at a lot and don't 100% trust any man. Any man. Because even the ones that are close to you, the one probably you call your man, you can't even trust them 100% because you don't know what is really going on. Because the way, I don't know. Is it just me? Because <laughs> this man are scaring me. What kind of question is that? And the, apart from um, the old Christianity, Chris, Christian with one that brought the witches and all of that, if he was really a true Christian that he claimed he is, he wouldn't speak like that. He wouldn't say something like that out of his mouth. A true Christian do not wish someone dead or kill someone. No. A true Christian shouldn't. So, for him to say something like that, probably just practicing Christianity, it can be a true Christian to me, okay? Anyways, I would like to know your thoughts down in the comment section. What do you have to say to this dude? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kindly turn on the post notification bell when you subscribe so that you can get notified each time I upload a new video. Okay, so I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.